Hey, this is Mrs. Sebastian, and we are going to look at linear versus nonlinear functions, and this is uh, Tennessee State Standard 8FA3. Which of the following is a nonlinear function? So Edith is a member of a magazine subscription program. She pays $11 for five magazines. So if she buys one magazine, it would be $11. Oh, I'm sorry. If she buys five magazines, it would be $11. If she buys 10 magazines, it would be $22. That's going up by the same amount every single time. So that's going to be linear. So it can't be A. During a storm, a team of researchers calculates the rain is falling at a rate of 1.2 centimeters per hour. So that means that it's going down by a constant rate. The rain is falling at a constant rate. Okay, Sam's weekly pay increases by $50 every year he stays at the same job. So it increases by the exact same amount every single year. Ronald has a car that depreciates in value by 11% every year. Okay, because this is percent, it is taking the percent of the amount of the car value. So if it was worth $20,000 one year and it depreciated by 11%, that means that it went down um, $220. So the next year, it would be 11% of this amount. So it's going to be a different amount each year. So that one is nonlinear because it goes down by a different amount each year. Usually those are the percents when you are looking for nonlinear. Okay, the table above represents what type of function? So the first thing we need to do is figure out how much it is changing by. So let's see. 2 to 4, I'm going to add 2. 4 to 8, I'm going to add 4. 8 to 16, I'm going to add 8. 16 to 32, I'm adding 16. But I also want to check my x values. So 1 to 2, I add 1. I add 1. 3 to 4, I add 1. 4 to 5, I add 1. Now, if this was a linear equation, this number would be the exact same every time, okay? If it happened to be different, um, the number on the left, when you set them up as a ratio, so those are my slopes for each one, those are all different. So when they are all different, it is going to be nonlinear. Now, you see this linear and nonlinear and neither? It can never, ever be either one of those. So your choices are always linear or nonlinear. A factory that manufactures basketball spends $7 on each basketball that it produces. Which of the following describes the rate of cost growth at the factory? So for every single basketball, they send the, spend the same amount. So if I wanted to draw a table, you don't have to do this. Once you figure out kind of what's going on, you don't have to do this. But for zero basketballs, they spend zero dollars. They don't have a cost for that. If they bought one basketball, it would be $7. If they bought two basketballs, it would be 14. Three, it would be 21. So I can come up with that rate of change here. I add seven, add seven, add seven. Over here, I'm adding one, adding one, adding one, because I've got the exact same rate of change over here, the constant. Um, I've got a constant rate of change that is a linear equation. Okay, which one represents a linear 
function. So a linear, it has the word right in its definition. It is a line. It is a straight line going up, down, across, or straight up and down. It can have zero curves. So this one has a curve right there. Can't be that. This one has a curve right there, so it can't be that. So this one is A. Neither of these graphs represent a linear function. Select all the correct answers. Which ones represent a linear function? So a linear function cannot have the square root of x. Okay, so I'll put cannot equal square root of x. Um, something over x. Um, it could be any number. Um, it can't be x with an exponent. And it can't be that's it. Okay. So when I look over here, I see that this first one does have the square root and the x is inside, so that can't be it. This one is a fraction, but x is on top. That's okay. It just cannot be on the bottom. So this one is linear. Oh, here we go. There's the x on the bottom. We can't have that. Okay, this one looks like it might be okay because I only see an x, but I've got to distribute first. So I'm going to rewrite that as 2x squared minus 3x. Well, I see a square there. It's got an exponent, so that one is not linear. Okay, I've got 3x plus 9y. I don't have a square root. I don't have divided by x, and I don't have a square, so that one does work. Same here. Don't have a square root, don't have divided by x, and do not have an exponent, so that one is correct as well. Which of the following best describes the equation below? Oh, I see that exponent that we were talking about on the last problem. Anytime I have an exponent other than one, it is going to be a nonlinear equation. So exponents equal nonlinear. Oops, sorry, ran out of room. There we go. Which of the following graphs have a constant rate of change? Well, a constant rate of change means that it's linear. Constant rate of change means linear. Neither of these two are linear because they do curve. Okay, so neither one of these has the constant rate of change. Which of the following functions is nonlinear? So remember, nonlinear have either the square root of x divided by x or x to some power. Usually it's squared. Sometimes you see third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever. So I'm looking, um, this one here has 5x. That's not square root of x divided by x or x raised to some power. C is not as well. D is not as well, but I see that A does have a power there, which means that it is nonlinear. Select the correct statement. So let's go through these one at a time and talk about them. So nonlinear functions have a constant rate of change, while linear functions do not have a constant rate of change. Well, remember, linear functions have a constant rate of change. Nonlinear do not. So nonlinear have a constant rate of change? No, that's not correct. Okay. Linear functions have a constant rate of change, while nonlinear functions do not. So that one looks like my answer, but let's keep going. Both linear and nonlinear have a constant rate of change. No, nonlinear do not have a constant rate of change. They're rate of change changes. Okay, so both linear and nonlinear do not have a constant rate of change. 
Okay, linear does have a constant rate. So our answer is B. Which of the following is a nonlinear function? So remember, nonlinear does not have a constant rate of change. So I'm going to go through and I see that all of my inputs are the same. They're all um, adding one each time. I'm not going to draw that on every single one of these. I'm just looking for one where the rate of change is constant. So from 4 to 12, I have to add 8. From 12 to 20, I have to add 8. From 20 to 28, I have to add 8. From 28 to 36, I have to add 8. So that one's looking pretty promising. Okay for a linear function, because this is the same every single time. I'm looking for nonlinear in my problem. So here I've got plus four, eight to 12 plus four, 12 to 16, I'm adding four, and 16 to 20, I'm adding four. So this one is another linear function. So four to 16, I'm adding 12, 16 to 64, I'm adding, let's see, 48. Hmm, those are different already, so that tells me that this one is my nonlinear. Let's check D also. So 4 to 10, I'm adding 6. 10 to 16, I'm adding 6. 16 to 22, I'm adding 6, and 22 to 28, I'm adding 6. So this one is linear as we suspected. 